of outside of this process specifically the interaction i get with people is what i love the most i could do that if i could do that with any camera like it, it doesn't matter i'm noel gallimore i am a portrait artist and mostly known as wet plate photographer in portland oregon my experience with photography has been a, a lifelong journey. I had a, I've had a camera in my hand since I was a little kid. My grandmother was a huge influence as she um, loved taking pictures. She always had a camera and she would travel the country a lot. And um, took I have bins full of photographs that she made. Um, and when she died, I inherited her SLR and started really getting more interested in taking pictures because of, I had my own camera that felt like a real camera at that point. Before then, I just had point and shoots. As I sort of explored photography, I found myself realizing I took pictures with a very journalistic approach, documenting places, memories, emotions, and people. And as I got older, I realized that it was the pictures of people that really held a significant value, not only to me, but to a lot of people. Having a photograph of a person can be priceless. The process was invented in 1851. Um, and you, what I do is take an aluminum plate, you coat it with collodion, which is mixed with ether and alcohol and some metal salts. And then you take the plate and you sensitize it in a bath of silver nitrate. So the silver nitrate reacts with the metal salts to create silver salts, which are photosensitive, um, just like in a gelatin-based film. And you take the plate and you put it in a camera, expose it, and then you go back to the dark room and develop it. Throw it in the fixer and you have a photo. Um, yeah, when people come to me in the studio, they're often terrified. They're, they're anxious, they're nervous, they're scared. They're like, don't know what to expect. They're in a new space with a person they likely have never met. And they're about to go through a very vulnerable process, having the photo made. So I take all the time it takes to first establish their comfort. Um, and usually, it only takes about 30 minutes just talking, like ask them like what they like to do with their time and like how they discovered my work and why it interests them and why do they want to photograph. And then we dive more into their intentions with the photos and like what it means to be photographed and um, like who will see the photo, what, 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 what that will do to the image that really helps people get more comfortable, feel more vulnerable and like safe in this space. So otherwise you're taking a photograph of a scared person who doesn't know who they are in that moment. But sometimes I ask them questions that really help them realize like what, what like they might not know what they want in a photo when they come in, but you take a little bit deeper and you, you'll find that they do have intentions, they do have things they do or don't want in a photo. They see an appeal in having a tangible image. And because we live in a digital world, we often people don't have that. They have all their photos around their phone, in the clouds. They're there, but they never see them. Uh, but So having a physical copy of a, of a photo can really give it more presence in your life because you've seen it. I've always been more inclined to use analog photography. It's slow. It requires more intention. It's like you only get so many shots on the roll of film. With this process, you get one shot per plate. You put a lot of time and energy into a single image. Um, so you make it worth it. You really put really put a lot of care into that photo. The fact that this process requires so much 
hands-on through each step. Like, in, I make my own film, essentially. You know, I mix the chemistry, I pour the plate, I prepare all the solutions, and that is really satisfying for me. I used to be a furniture maker, so I like, I like making things with my hands. So this form of photography takes what I love about photography and what I love about making things and combines it. So it really puts my skills to the test. My, my first 4x5 camera is probably my favorite of all the, that I use with this process. Um, it's what got me started and it's a beautiful, it's now on, right behind you, it's, it's a beautiful camera made in Japan and it's a treat to use. There was, there's a photographer in Portland named Jim Hare who uh, I just love his work. He like takes the photos that I want to take. He goes out into the world with his camera, he talks to random people, gets their story, makes a beautiful portrait of them and like that's like the ideal lifestyle for me. Hopefully one day when I'm his age, like I'll be doing that. Sounds great. But being a secret admirer of him, I reached out to him and was like, hey, I would love to meet you. One, also taking your photo would be a huge honor. And he came to my studio. We hung out and talked, talked about photography and uh, got to take his photo. And he said, Great, now I have a photo for my funeral. <laughs> and I, you know, I thought I had received compliments before, but like that was, that was too much. 